Welcome to 5G Hub. Today, we will talk about dual connectivity between 5G and LTE. At first, we need to define what is DC or what is dual connectivity. DC is, stands for dual connectivity and it's synonymous. It's uh, a feature in 3GBB release 12 for cell enhancement. And also it's similar to carrier aggregation as it, it aims to utilize the radio resources within multiple carrier to improve the user uh, equipment through. As per 3GBB, dual connectivity is a mode of operation where a multiple uh, receiver and the transmitter capable user equipment in RRC connected mode can be configured to utilize the radio resources of two scheduler, I then uh, independent scheduler located in two E node B uh, in case of uh, release 12, namely master E node B. This will be controls that as a control. Uh, and the data and secondary E not B for data only uh, and will be connected via an unidle backhauling over the X2 interface. Okay, but here we are talking about something is called ENDC. So what is ENDC? Uh, uh, about ENDC is stands for EUTRA new review or dual connectivity in our dual connectivity. EU TRAN is for LTE, new radio for 5G and dual connectivity and we can uh, get the data from two uh, uh, entities, one E not B for LTE and the one G not B for 5G. So uh, according uh, to 3GBB standard decons, uh, the ENDC or the EU TRAN new radio dual connectivity allows the user equipment to connect to an LTE E node B that acts as a master node and a 5G G node B that acts as a secondary node, okay? So the user equipment connected to the E node B uh, uh, will act as E node master node and the G node B will act as secondary node. The E node B is connected to the ABC through the normal S1 interface, and also uh, to the G node B through X2 interface. So in this configuration, the user equipment will be connected to LTE first as a network for initial access, and then will be connected to 5G G node B or NR by RRC connection reconfiguration uh, process. Okay, what about the uh, architecture of E not B dual connectivity. This is a 3GBB uh, overall architecture. So overall an architecture of uh, ENDC can be illustrated in this figure as their 3GBB uh, uh, technical specs uh, 37.340. Uh, as you see here, user equipment is communicating with both LTE and also uh, to new radio G node B and radio site, but all this communication, the signaling and data are going through here uh, LTE core network, like you see uh, MME and serving it way, okay? And also LTE node B and NRG node B are using their own physical and the MAC layers, independent MAC scheduler, this means, and also in E node uh, EMDC, in case of data plane, both the master node, the LTE, and secondary node, G node B, has direct interface with LTE core network uh, for serving gateway, as you see here. But in case of control plane, only master node, LTE, has a direct interface with LTE core network. As you see, we have here S1, S1 user plane, S1 user plane for G node B, but for control plane will be only the LTE. Uh, this LTE E not B. Okay. Uh, so uh, the question now: How we can 
know the user, this user equipment will support the dual connectivity for LTE and the NR or no. Here, as you see, this is the information element of user network capability, okay? And you can see this part, the whole connectivity in R. So in uh, uh, this uh, information element, if the user equipment supports the dual connectivity with NR, then the user equipment must set the DC NR pet to dual connectivity with NR supported in uh, this table, okay, of the attach request or tracking area update uh, request. So if the user equipment supports dual connectivity with NR, the user equipment must set the DCNR pit to dual connectivity with NR supported in uh, information element of uh, user equipment. Uh, in the message of attach request or tracking the area of the uh, request. This is uh, for today about dual connectivity and the ENDC in 5G. Uh, thank you and look forward to uh, seeing you in the next uh, tutorial material. Okay, thank you.